I attempted to go throw some cool in it. Probably isn't the right one. But I'm strong with all my friends. Come on! <laughs> I'm fairly certain I put more than yeah. 54 foot pounds on that, John. I'm also seeing like 72 foot pounds. Right. So what we're hearing is tight as hell, tight as fuck, as <laughs> tight as you can. Yeah. Send it as tight as God needs it to Full be. send it. Yes. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another video. I know y'all haven't seen him since like two years, probably. Yeah, it's been a while. It's 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 been a while. His car is undergoing some transformations. Essentially, uh, I put a IAG 550 block in it. Turns out the person that built it accidentally put the camera caps on backwards, so it shredded everything, blew the motor, nice crack down the cylinder wall, and everything destroyed. So I'm actually having Matt Miner build me a new 550 block. He's using a blue turbo. The whole works. Um, hopefully we're gonna be pushing around 440 to the wheel. That alignment, that eyeball alignment that I did, right? seems to be pretty okay as okay as i feel like i could have gotten it right you guys may also be wondering what the fuck happened to the wing it was cool and like i you know i appreciate it it was dope but this just looks a lot cleaner i feel like for now plus i also have something over there that i'm gonna be putting on i'm i hey i'm not gonna show them i'm just gonna let it sit there and fester and then like in like a couple of months when i just decide to randomly drill holes in this or just buy another trunk they're gonna be like wow that's what he got <laughs> cole actually saved me uh, and a, a, you know a couple of dollars the one thing that I was waiting for which I don't remember if I told you guys I had drilled one of the fuel rail bolts out right because it was giving me a hard time so that was poop gone toast and I was like on the hunt trying to find some locally and unfortunately I couldn't I ended up buying uh, a new IAG hardware set but it was like the wrong set Cole ended up coming through he had an extra you know like like spare set of bolts for me so I ended up throwing that one in now that's all tightened down and all good I do also have the tune loaded on the access port I tightened them down to like as much as I could okay the torque specs are scattered all across fucking Nazioc and just the internet and everywhere so realistically speaking and like this is not a professional opinion or like a like like don't take my word as like god i'm just <laughs> just from my experience all right as long as they're tightened down like and they can't get tightened anymore and like like if it feels like you're about to start stripping it they're probably good i'm right, gonna put this on because i am i am certain that that is as tight as i could have possibly gotten it and if that's as tight as i can get it no one's gonna get it tighter than me because i'm stronger than all my friends <laughs> I gotta go grab ATF, which everything's closed tonight because it's late. So tomorrow, I'm gonna go do that and put everything in, and then we should be good to go. So I'm gonna call it quits for tonight and then pick this back up in like five seconds. So later, y'all. All right, so it is the next morning. I attempted to go throw some cooling in. It was good for a little bit. However, I think I forgot to tighten down the little plug that's down there. That, John? And I had a bit of a leak right there. I also have a leak back there. I'm not sure what it's from. Number two is where the thermostat goes. That's leak number two. And then the third one, I gotta take the intake manifold and stuff off too, because it's the coolant crossover. I guess the O-rings on there, I didn't clean properly. So take care of those and then try again. Bro, so I'm kind of a dummy sometimes. So the coolant crossover, right? As you guys can see over there, that's where it was leaking from. That back vault right there was not tight the front was tight the back wasn't so it was leaking from up there i'm fairly certain it should be good now this thermostat probably isn't the right one i don't know if it's supposed to just like oh hang on i don't know if it's supposed to just like sit in there right or if it's supposed to like click in there or how it's supposed to work but i definitely know that there's not supposed to be like a ton of movement which i have right here okay so to be honest that was definitely the wrong thermostat don't buy shit from advanced auto parts just get it from oem you know subaru straight from the dealership it'll make your life so much easier it came with the gasket everything works smoothly i also fixed that other leak which was under my turbo so we should be all good now and three two one here my car starts
is fucking dope. Oh my god. It could possibly, maybe, potentially, will most likely definitely drive, but not well. But it runs. Ah! I am so happy that this thing runs. I'm burning off a lot of residual stuff because there's a couple things we forgot to tighten down, but fans kick on. Everything is working properly, dude. She sounds good. Oh my gosh. And like she's idling pretty fucking smoothly. I'm, dude, I'm so fucking excited. So fucking sick, dude. I'm so happy. No longer misfiring, or at least not as aggressively as she was. I guess I number one missed uh, a ground. I forgot to tighten that down on the on the driver side or passenger side. So I took care of that, and that's crazy that I missed that because I've missed that every time I rebuilt the motor. I always fucking forget to tighten that thing down. I'll show you where it is in a second, but that was problem number one. Number two was I think I had a connector that wasn't tightened, like plugged in all the way. Just needed a little extra push, and now it's running better. I am gonna go try to go drive it just to see how it does around the block and. She sounds good. She just feels a little weird. I need a motherfucking gimbal if I'm gonna be holding this in this car. What a guy. Dude, it's so shaky. I know. No check engine lights. None. You need to look at the camera, don't look at me. Residual. Oh yeah, definitely residual. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Running driving vehicle. If it does good. I mean, yeah, yeah. I think I just have to kind of get used to the extra bit of torque and like how to get into it properly, which I think was my problem right there. She alive and she drive and she got a 2.5 and fog light covers that say STI. Woo! All right, y'all, I'm probably gonna end this video here. It runs, it drives, it does hit boost. I hit like 14 PSI earlier. It felt weird. I'm just super not used to the 2.5, I guess. And also, I guess there's still a couple of small things you're probably gonna have to work out. Maybe a proper actual dyno tune will for sure fix that. But she does run, you know, pretty well. And this little bolt right there, that ground, you see that wire? That is the one that I continuously always forget to tighten. So that is the reason why it was having a hard time starting. Oh, let me open this back up. And then also we just rechecked all the plugs on the wiring harness, especially these ones on top of the throttle body, making sure that they were all good. And then also the map, I'm plugging and plugging it in a couple times just to help it circulate and kind of reset itself. So now it seems like it's pretty good. I just have to, I guess, get used to driving it again, which happens every time we throw something new in because we put a couple of new things on. Genuinely, I appreciate every single person who has been watching or is watching this right now. I know the videos came out a lot slower than like I was expecting them to. Working a ton and then just like not having the time to edit and everything kind of was making me go crazy. But I appreciate y'all for sticking with me. She runs, she drives. We're gonna try to get more content out soon. I have a new wing I'm gonna throw on and I'm super excited for it. But I'm not drilling holes in that trunk, so you guys are just gonna have to wait and see what it is. And I have also officially decided like, your boy is not going to Boxer Fest. I'll probably do it next year. It's just the timing isn't right. I'd rather not drive this thing six hours, you know, for something to happen. And uh, also, my girl's coming up for my birthday, which is around the same time. So I really just want to hang out with her. So videos from like August 12th to like the 18th or 19th might be a little bit slower again. That's 
all the news I got for you guys. Thank you for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. We have a running, driving WRX again. STI, whatever you want to call it, because it's got a 2.5. Peace out, y'all, and I'll see you in the next video.